Hello everybody, meet me again. I'm Andreas and this time I will discuss lab 5.2.2.4 on Cisco Cybersecurity Essentials course. This lab is all about using digital signatures. After doing the activities in this lab, we will understand some materials such as understand the concepts behind digital signatures, demonstrate the use of digital signatures, and we can demonstrate the verification of a digital signature. Okay, I will open this PDF guide. This lab is divided into two main parts. So the part one is about demonstrate the use of digital signatures, and part two is about demonstrate the verification of a digital signature. Previously, we must have wondered what are digital signatures? So, digital signature is a mathematical technique used to validate the authenticity and integrity of a digital message. A digital signature is the equivalent of a handwritten signature. So, those two things is basically still the same. The source we need is PC or mobile device with internet connection. Part 1 using digital signatures. In this part, you will use a website to verify a document signature between Alice and Bob. So, they share a pair of private and public RSA keys. Each of them uses their private key to sign a legal document. They then send the documents to each other. Both Alice and Bob can verify each other's signature with the public key. They must also agree on a shared public exponent for calculation. Table 1 below show RSA public and private keys and this table contains three rows. The first row is public key, second row is private key, and the third row is a public exponent value for calculation function. Next step one is about sign the document. Alice signs a legal document and sends it to Bob using the RSA public and private keys shown in the table above. Now, Bob will have to verify Alice's digital signature in order to trust the authenticity of the electronic document. So, how it works? In the first step, Alice uses private key to generate digital signature. And when Alice has generated, so the electronic document is combined with digital signature and then Alice send it to Bob. Step 2. Verify digital signature. Bob receives the document with a digital signature shown in the table below. Table 2 show Alice digital signature. All of this long value is Alice digital signature. And I will click this following link to use online RSA tool to verify the authenticity of Alice's signature. I will open it in a new tab. Then table 3 show user interface of online digital signature tools. Here is public form and here is public exponent value and then private key is and here, and last, the text that contains personal digital signature in here. The next step, I will copy and paste the public and private keys from table 1 back to the table 1. I will block this public key and copy and then paste it into here. Same method for private key.
and make sure that public exponent value is the same as this value. Back to the steps. Then paste Alice digital signature from table two in the box. I will going back to table two and block this Alice signature, copy it. And then place its value into this text form. And now Bob can verify the digital signature by clicking the verify button. So I will click this verify button. And the text show Alice. This means that Bob is successfully to check Alice's personal digital signature. <coughs> so the signature is identified by Alice. Step 3 generate a response signature. Bob receives and verifies Alice's electronic document and digital signature. Now Bob creates an electronic document too and generate his own digital signature using the private RSA key in table 1. Note, Bob's name is in all capital letters. This table shows Bob's digital signature. And for this tab 4, verify digital signature. First, copy and paste the public and private key from table 1 back to the table 1 copy this value and paste it to this public form and then the private key to Then paste Bob's digital signature from table 4, from this table, copy it, then paste it into this text form, and then click verify button. The text form says Bob, so the process is successfully executed and the signature is identified by both. Use capital letters. Part 2. Create your own digital signature. Now that we see how digital signatures work, we can create our own digital signature. Step 1. Generate a new pair of RSA key. Go to the website tool and generate a new set of public and private key. A way to do this is to delete the contents first from all this form. So it goes empty and then make sure the public exponent value has this value. Next, generate a new set of RSA keys by clicking by clicking the generate button. So click this button and it result this new public and private key. Then copy the new keys into table 5. Now, type in your full name into the box, label text, and click sign. In this case, I will use my full name, but 
without space so it looks like this and then I will click the sign button to sign in my name okay the process is successful now I have my own digital signature I will copy this value into this personal form of mine and part 3 exchange and verify digital signatures step 1 exchange your new public and private keys in table 5 with your lab partner. In this case, I will pretend that I have friend named Steve. So I will use this private window to make another credential besides my own credential for sure. I will separate this into section. Then I will copy this website address to the private window then delete all of this form then I will generate public and private key for Steve click this generate button now Steve has his own public and private key. Next, I will create Steve's name in this text form. For example, his name is just Steve. Then I will click sign. Okay, now Steve has his own digital signature back to the PDF table 7 show public key and private key from my partner Steve so I will just copy this value into the form Next step to verify lab partner's digital signature. First, to verify your lab partner's digital signature, paste his or her public and private keys in the appropriate boxes labeled public and private modules on the website. So I will copy this value, Steve public key, into my own tool and his private key to then copy Steve's digital signature delete this old value and replace it with the new Steve digital signature okay it should look like this and then I will verify Steve's personal digital signature by clicking this verify button now the text form says Steve so the text box says Steve And I think it's enough for me to explain the material in this lab. Hopefully, the knowledge I share is useful for all of us. Thank you for your attention.